Citigroup's new chief executive, Jane Fraser, has a big question ahead of her, whether to build up her bank or break it up. Fraser's just two months into her job running City, and already she's started to wield the axe. Last week, she said that City would exit around a dozen markets in Asia and Europe, but there's lots of room for her to be even more creative. City is basically made up of three chunks. There's a US retail bank, which is big in credit cards, but it's small compared with rivals like Chase. There are various retail bank networks in Asia and a big one in Mexico called Banamex. And then the city's crown jewel, which is its investment and trade bank, which arranges deals, payments and cash for companies around the world. Now, at the moment, investors are punishing City through its stock price because those bits don't quite fit together. There are two things Fraser could do about that. One is to pull the bank apart and sell off the bits. We at Breaking Views reckon that City could be worth about a third more than it is today if you pulled it apart. Now, obviously, that's not easy because you'd have to find buyers for the various divisions. So the other option is for Fraser to think big. She could, for example, buy a big American rival. One possibility would be US Bancorp, which is City's next smallest rival. If she merged that with the US Bank, she'd double it in size in its home market and create a lender that's really big enough to justify its existence. The catch here is that City has a reputation for being accident prone. It's had years of fines, frauds and general slip ups under her predecessor, Mike Corbett. So right now, if Fraser went to the regulator and said she wanted to make a big acquisition, they would probably laugh in her face. Now, if she can keep the bank's nose clean for a couple of years and show the regulators that things are back on track, that would change. In that case, Fraser's options will open up and who knows, City may once again find its mojo. (laughs) 